This is the uh, third live online class for Moodle MOOC. Uh, it started with the opening ceremony and then the first uh, live session yesterday, introduction and layout, and today's a special event with Van Stevens and Learning Together. Session's going to start in a couple of seconds, and I'm going to just make sure that my settings are right. And they are. Hello! And welcome to today's Sunday Learning Together uh, on Wiz IQ, where it's not on a normal day, but this isn't. And um, my name is Nellie, Nellie Deutsch. And if you could write in the chat box where you're from and um, how you're doing. I'm not Van Stevens. No, I'm not. So uh, for those of you who don't know Vance, I'm going to introduce him. Uh, just uh, Vance, when you get here, I don't think Vance is here yet, but he should be along soon. Uh, if you could raise your hand, that would help since um, a lot of people are going to be joining this session. Hello, Ludmilla. I see you as well. Uh, you can raise your hand as well. If any of the other facilitators are here, that would be great. So this is actually a combination of the Moodle MOOC plus um, Learning Together, which is what the MOOC's about. It is, after all, um, about learning together and not um, learning from an organization or one specific person. So the together is very, very important in this MOOC. So uh, I see Judy is here as well. Great. Uh, we're also going to uh, discuss some of the um, venues that you'll be uh, traveling through uh, in the Moodle MOOC, but that's going to be um, near the end, so stay tuned. I see we've got... There are a lot of um, non-native speakers of English, by the way, in the MOOC. I know this because... <laughs> I'm getting your uh, Google Drive, and uh, in order to uh, give you uh, the right to edit, I can see that it's different languages, so I've managed to actually uh, manage a lot of languages because it's coming in even languages that I have no idea, but I know where to click, so that's easy enough. So there are there. Uh, people from all over the world, and their Google Drive is in their native language. So we have to keep that in mind, that not everybody's English, um, well, nobody's English is perfect, of course, but some people uh, feel more confident in their uh, native language, and not specifically in English. So we really do have to uh, keep that in mind and try to understand what people are trying to say and express as we go. So Vance, if you're in the house, because I'm not Vance, if you could raise your hand. By the way, I'm also uh, using Google Translate, which is incredible. Um, <laughs> I was just showing it to my dad yesterday. And it, you just, you go into Google Translate. How many of you, uh, give me a thumbs up if you've tried Google Translate in the uh, last couple of uh, days. It's just amazing. And if you haven't, you should really try it. Because it, it's just simultaneous. I mean, you write in one language and you can see it in the other language as you write. So if you make a mistake, it, it comes back to yours and it just keeps correcting it. So you can actually be communicating to a lot of people in different languages, and it's quite good. I mean, at least they'll understand you. So feel free to use... Um, I did that with Crystal. <laughs> By the way, Crystal, I don't know what language. And if you don't know what language it is, uh, Google Translate will help you figure out the language. So uh, Google Translate has really come a long way from what it used to be. So, uh, yes, uh, we're all able to now speak to one another, or at least to uh, chat with one another. If anybody sees Vance, uh, give me a thumbs up, 
or I'm going to start and then hopefully uh, Vance will join us. Maybe he's on his way. I'm not Vance. This is Nelly. I, um, I created the, uh, the session for Vance. <laughs> you can see it's Nelly. Okay, there is an image of Vance without his um, beard. Okay, and a little bit of a mustache. So yes, this is Nelly. And um, if you see Vance, just let me know. It's not Vance uh, writing. It's also my writing. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. So today's uh, learning together means that I have to learn with you. So it's not me teaching anybody anything. You've got to keep that in mind. Um, it's learning from one another. So feel free to use the chat box and to uh, learn, teach, whatever you want to call it. All right, so what you see here is Van Stevens, who's going to be hosting the session. Right now, it's Nelly talking in his voice. Over here, this was inspired by Thomas. Um, it's the Moo, uh, the Moo Cow. And uh, this is uh, the Moodle MOOC Wiz IQ logo. Learning together that doesn't have a banner or a logo. And this, anybody know what this is? Okay, that's a very special image. Anyone know what this is? Well, you've got the title, but anyone um, see their faces there anywhere? Webheads, that's right, Doris. Uh, Doris, are you here? In this particular one. I think this was in 2005. Oh, you are? All right, Doris, I'll give you, if, I, if you could raise your hand, I'll... Uh, Someone's raised their hand. Here, Rem. If you could raise your hand, Doris. Ah, did I find you? I'll let you. Um... Okay, I don't see. You know where you raise your hand? Just above, there's a hand. You just kind of click on it. And then I think you got it. Uh, thank you, Doris. Let's see if I can get you now. If I can find you uh, so that you can help me out here um, with the list. Oh, it's going so fast. There, I got you, Doris. And you don't have a webcam. All right, that's okay. All right, so I'll give you tools, Doris. We can hear your voice at least. And you can point to your... And I see Vance is here. Great. You can point to your image and enlighten us because um, we looked a bit different in those. Well, at least I did. I don't think you would recognize me. I saw Vance there, I think. Ah, there we go. Okay, found Vance. Okay, maybe Vance can help us along too. I see that um, it's going round and round. I hope the connections are good and there are no firewalls. Yeah, Doris, did you... Um... Hello, Vance? It looks like uh, you were booted for some reason. Oh no, it's still going around in circles. All right, hopefully uh, it'll work. I hope your page wasn't open for too long because sometimes it needs to be refreshed. We don't have that many people in here, so uh, it's not over 2,000. There we go. I think Vance is coming through. The real Vance. I just heard a click. There we go. There's the real All Vance. Right. I just showed an image of Can you. Can you see me? Yes. Uh, without your uh, mm -hmm. beard, I thought I'd show that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which is the real Vance. The real Vance is not well, the me. The real Vance, please stand up. Well, it's not me, <laughs> even though my name, I'm writing as you, so uh, forgive me. Yes, hi, everybody. There's, I think there's a little confusion about the time, because I believe we set this for 1300 GMT. 
and it's noon GMT now, but anyway, here we are. So Yeah, that's, that's I thought so too. Bit. Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah. Hmm, how did that happen? I don't know. We can just keep going at 1300 and see who else comes. <laughs> because uh, the class wouldn't open unless, well, I don't know what happened either, actually. Uh, in any case, uh, we're looking at the uh, at the images, and I was wondering if you recognize anybody. And are you here? I do. Oh, where? Maybe I you can point. All right. So who's that? That's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and next to you. See, that's a she hard one. Herself, a self-portrait. Okay. <laughs> uh, is, can you can you find Doris? Because oh, I yes. Doris, I couldn't get Doris uh, for some reason to. Um, oh, it's sus, sus. Uh, yeah. There's Nelly. Where? Uh, th this is a picture of the webheads student group that is that's the one that started in 1998 so uh, that was a pre um, webheads in action group of people uh, that one uh, that was a group that Michael Coughlin and uh, Maggie Doty, Doty and I uh, sort of started um, I was the one who put up all the web pages for it but uh, that evolved into webheads in action uh, when in an EVO session in 2002, we, um, I, I, I guess I, I should say I took it on, uh, on myself to uh, set up, uh, up a course that would teach other people how to set up communities of practice online. And so we sort of modeled that and did it. And it's been kind of going ever since. So but anyway, that started from the web, this is the, the writing for webheads group that you're looking at right now. And, um, Gosh, let's see. All those people, a lot of them are, have become webheads in action. That's Eric uh, Baber that you're pointing to right. Was the what do they call it, the president of IATEFL for the last year? That one. Who's that? Well, it could have been somebody we know. And Nelly Deutsch, of course. And uh, that's Hala. Uh, uh, Hala. What's her last name? Uh, Huzzy, I think. Huzzy, Huzzy. Uh -huh. And. Huzzy, hello. She's in Saudi Arabia now, but she was. Uh, she is. From uh, she's from Khartoum. From Khartoum, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think she's working in. Uh, yeah. And that's Lane Marshall. Uh, Lane is still with us. Uh, she just gave a presentation a couple of weeks ago on learning together. So a lot of these people are yeah, still there. Yeah, they're still they're still there. And Vance, it's been how long? Uh, there's it's been over ten years, I guess. It's been what? Yeah, this group's eleven years. Nineteen ninety eight. Fifteen years. Do you think I was there in nineteen ninety eight? I keep thinking I started in two thousand and. Uh, uh, yeah, five. that group that you're that right right there that group lasted for. About three years. I mean, well, although the, many of the people have migrated over to uh, Webheads in Action, uh, but that particular group kind of fizzled once um, once the Webheads in Action started because the student group, as I've often said, the voices started getting to, uh, suppressed by the. So it became less and less a student group. It became more and more a teachers group. The teachers were interested in the technologies we were trying out at the time. Um, to speak to one another online was uh, kind of unusual. Well, I, yeah, it, it wasn't really the norm, but to do it for free, we had, um, there was a powwow at the time, and um, we used to use something called Hear Me, which was a plugin that you can, uh, to set up in your web page. What is a powwow? Uh, so I we, don't, what's a powwow? I don't remember powwow that. Was, yeah, it, it was... Um, was, uh, some, it was something similar to, it was sort of a, an instant message service oh. that was done by voice, and it was one of the one of the first ones. So one of the first Skype-like things, except it wasn't VOIP exactly. Well, this is a little bit about and, Vance. This is about you and your career with uh, computer-assisted language learning. And uh, what I noticed is that I don't know, how many years did you teach English before you actually uh, got involved in technology, or did it come together? 
Well, uh, I think when I started out, uh, the technology we used was uh, these mimeograph machines, the spirit mimeograph, you know, that used to smell so good. That was the, the, the first technology I had in uh, probably 1974, maybe, something like that. Wow. Saudi Arabia, and somebody put in a computer in the place that I taught, a big mainframe computer. And I just sat down and started playing with it, and just kind of to see what it would do. Nobody else was using it. So somebody saw me doing that and put me in charge of a program to develop some cowl materials. So uh, that's kind of how I got started. That was in 79, 1979. Um, and so I headed that as long as I was in Saudi Arabia, and then uh, moved to, uh, went to get my MA in ESL. and. Uh, that time I bought an Apple and uh, an Apple II, one of the early ones, and um, did a did a, my thesis. I developed some uh, materials to test on to use with students and did my thesis on computer assisted language learning, and started publishing, getting published, and went to well anyway, just moved on from there. Eventually ended up at Salzburg University and uh, I became Cal coordinator there and. On and on, went and worked in California uh, as a software developer from there, and then back over to the UAE to um, again uh, computing for eight years in a petroleum institute, and uh, now I'm sort of back to teaching English, but uh, <laughs> using computers where I can, yeah, kind of just like. Other people and hi Halima. Halima is saying we have I have friends in Uzbekistan. My son married a Uzbek girl, so I uh, have been to Uzbekistan and uh, I haven't been there lately. But anyway, I've only visited once. But yeah, having fun. Fun is frivolous, unanticipated nonsense. It was something that I put in a slideshow that I went, uh, gave at a TESOL conference. That uh, the convener of the session was. Um, um, David Noonan, and I, I think I, I put it on a slide, but I had been using it earlier than that. So, but I, I first, I guess, publicized it. And so, small. Uh, I, I'm not sure who's interviewing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not interviewing. As what? I said at the beginning, I don't know when you came in. It's it's about learning together. So I'm I'm learning. I mean, it's not me. You know, everybody yeah. else learning. learning I want to learn. Everybody wants to learn. So, you know, you want to learn too, right? So I wanted to learn as well. I, I figured, you know, this is my chance to learn too. Yeah, well, it is. It is. I mean, we, we learn all the time by meeting together and getting together online. And uh, Dave Cormier, who I, I, he, you're, he's part of your program, isn't he, yes. Dave Cormier? Is he giving yes, you a presentation? He's, he's, yeah, on next week, actually, on Saturday. Um, on June, oh, he's, he's, June eight, yes. He, he always says that the uh, uh, what you get from MOOCs is the network. That's the big takeaway. So I'm sure he'll repeat that. But that's the that's what you that's how you learn through networking, obviously, and you know through social social learning. And um, so we we learn so much from each other, just uh, getting together and. Uh, sharing knowledge and and setting up these events and um, Nellie, you're one of the the great conveners. I don't know how many projects do you have going on at the moment. I mean, we'll ask you about how many projects you've done in the last year. But what <laughs> right now? How many projects are you doing? That's a good question. That's a good question. You know what my father says when I tell him? You know, he sees what I'm doing. He says he goes like this. You know, he has his palm up and he goes, Nelly, <laughs> you know, like. You know, what are you getting out of it? And, and, and that's just it. Um, and, you know, that, that's exactly what I'm getting out of it. I'm getting a lot of learning, and I think that's what it's about. It's really about learning together. And it is so exciting to be able to uh, be part of, uh, you know, kind of organizing communities and watching people learn. You know, I, I get so much out of it. And I think someone's doing research. I forget who's doing, one of the participants is actually doing research. I think he's from Finland on, um, on just that, on how 
how people, what people get out of it and, and what happens to them as a result of this kind of learning. You know, and you mentioned aha moments. What happens to people? You know, what sustains them in this kind of uh, environment where they can learn from one another, uh, from people all over the world, because it's not really local in any sense. Yeah, it's definitely a, a movement of people who tend to come up, who tend to meet each other. We're, we're sort of a, um, a meta group, you know, a meta community that's that uh, exists, of course, in our in our daily lives and our real places where we are, and and we exist online in an online environment. But we're sort of a, a continent that's kind of congealed out in cyberspace, and and we, uh, you know, we have our um, our shopping malls and, and clubs and things like that and well I don't know the shopping but anyway we have our convening spaces which we just turn up in you know the, a lot of the people here um, we recognize as they as they scroll through the chat and um, so you know they're, they're people that we know and they know us and uh, one, one of the, the surprising things about some of the early things that we did back in the 90s last century it was a big surprise to us when we were when we started tentatively getting into um, into this um, you know uh, meeting people online. It was a big surprise to us that people would actually keep appointments because we uh, put a lot of professional stake, let's say, into uh, set up a session where there were going to be people from cyberspace joining us and. That just wasn't done, you know. So um, it was always amazing when it happened, and it it, it just it's like we take it for granted now. But uh, it wasn't always so something that we could count on that people. We never couldn't count on it. We just didn't know we could count on it. You know, we, we uh, that, that people trusted one another enough, or were that real, you know, who they they really uh, actually kept their commitments online. So that's actually kind of a given now, uh, you know, when we have a session like this. Um, you know, it, it just happens. We do it. Um, we, we keep our commitments, and this is a very serious thing for us, you know. Isn't that so, amazing? Um, that is amazing, mm -hmm. you know. You know, sometimes I feel like I can trust my online friends to be there for me. You know, if, if we're going to write a book or if we're going to uh, create a PowerPoint presentation together, whatever we do, I always know they're going to be there. And they always are. And I'm always there. In other words, this trust that you're talking about is just amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's very solid. And, uh, you know, it's... Um... I just haven't really been disappointed hardly at all by, you know, sometimes uh, people have said they'll put time in, but uh, it's, you know, for, for you can definitely count on a whole, having a conference or a, mo a MOOC, for example. And, uh, you know, these days, I mean, if you s say you're having a MOOC, you're going to get thousands of participants. How many people are, are signed up in your MOOC, Nellie? Well, right now, I think about over one, one. over one thousand six hundred. Um, mm -hmm. A thousand, but the numbers are still coming up. Uh, people are still only finding out because um, you know it takes time for what you know to go from one network to the next. And what I'm finding is that this particular MOOC has uh, others. You mentioned the ones that keep coming and we keep meeting and so on. This one has new people that I've never encountered before, which is very exciting. Because our networks and, uh, are, are, you know, they're, they're increasing, Van, sorry. I, I was interested in the demographics of this uh, MOOC, because you were talking last night uh, about this time, you, you had a session about uh, the layout of the course. It's the one thing I've been able to access uh, whoa, something just happened to my computer. You're oh, still here. It's back again. <laughs> oh, I, I was using the wrong mouse. That was the problem. I was moving one the mouse with the other computer. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, um, uh, you in particular, by saying that they didn't necessarily have access to videos, they didn't have access to... Um, um, 
what was what else did they there's something else that was surprising the, I was, oh, uh, oh i know what you mean they, you're talking about google drive yeah. that they didn't have access yeah google to drive google. that was it yes. yeah no but it, it was a, it was yeah. it was a mistake yeah. it's not I true think i think hmm? we're echoing oh your other computer's talking back no, my other computer. It's okay now. Oh, it could be. Maybe I should put a headphone. Yeah, that's uh, always good. You know, because yeah, I I came I came I'm here. I'm sorry that um, you... not expecting to come online. So I was kind of surprised I thought we were too. Medium. Yeah, I know. I thought so too. I was just a surprise. Maybe um, you know, maybe someone uh, changed the time without our knowing it. In any no case, no worries. We're, we're yeah. Back. I'm just looking for a head. I um, I highlighted Let's some things one. while Vance is looking for his headset. I highlighted some things here like Wiki, uh, recorded personal learning networks, uh, using Web 2.0 tools to leverage learning through networking, and I think that was also mentioned, and how teachers achieve the aha moment. And I think this is something that we take for granted, and I think that uh, whoever is doing research, whoever is interested, one of the uh, participants of the MOOC, I think that this is something that I would be interested in, in as well. You know, what um, actually happens to us uh, as a result of the MOOC, as a result of the energy, you know, that um, kind of seems to take over and the excitement in learning online, because it certainly isn't something that... Um, should be taken for granted. So Vance, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the MOOC for those um, who uh, didn't get the sessions or uh, who'd like to hear more about it. And um, I'm going to, you can, by the way, you can play around yeah, with the room. You should start really yeah, play around with the room. You can actually move things around. You can have uh, minimize the chat. Uh, get rid of the video if you don't want to see my face or anyone's. Um, you know, play around with it as you wish. Um, it's pretty modular. The uh, okay. facilitators are all, um, and if you're recording this uh, through video, if you want to Camtasia or whatever, you might want to get the videos. You know, arrange the, uh, set up the class in a certain way right now for your video if you're doing that. If anyone is... Uh, recording this through video. Uh, Nancy, these are the volunteers. Uh, Nancy, I don't know if Nancy is here. Nancy, if you're here, give me a thumbs up there in the chat. I'll see that faster than a raised hand. Um, Jason, R. Levine from the United States, New Jersey. Nancy is from the United States. Dr. Ramesh Sharma is from India. Uh, Dr. Ludmila Smirnova is in the United States now, originally from um, Soviet. Union, what used to be. Uh, Judith Berenz is in the United States. She's doing her doctorate. And Nellie, I'm all over the place. That's how I uh, define myself. A little bit about Nancy. Nancy and I met. What's nice is that, um, you know, Vance, uh, meeting face to face for the first time. I remember when I met you in, I believe, New Orleans, was it? Uh, in 2011? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so exciting. I remember hugging people at the Evo uh, section. Last year, wasn't it? <clears throat> no, the year before. Yeah, it was 2011, so it was like three years ago, to be exact. I know it was New Orleans, then it was Philly, and then last year was mm -hmm. somewhere else, wherever. Um, in any case, and I remember hugging people and, and, and thinking like, mm. you know, you don't want to let go. And then you meet again, and that's fine. And somebody came up in 2011 in New Orleans, and he said, somebody from New York, and he said, can I get a hug? Remember that? And I said, no, you can't, because we never met online. You know, we only hug people that we've met online, because <laughs> that's how we connect. Uh, same thing happened with Nancy. I met Nancy in 2008 <laughs> or 9 online, and then we hugged in 2012, which was really incredible. It's It's... It's a wonderful feeling to meet people for the first time and, and to keep meeting them face to face. It just, it, it, it's, it's hard for the mind. It's hard for me um, because there's a, you know, it's the same person, Vance. I don't know how you feel about it. It's the same person, right? We're the same people, but we're not. 
kind of. We don't have time face to face, but we have more time online to meet. Well, I always feel when, you know, actually it's kind of anticlimactic. Uh, I actually had somebody, uh, one of the web heads uh, at a conference, we had been chatting, uh, I think in uh, MSN Messenger or something, back then, that was some time ago. She came at, up at the conference, and I hadn't seen her for a very long time. She sat down next to me, and I said, oh, hi. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that I, you know, it's just that we had been interacting online, so, you know, I, had, I saw her, but I, I didn't have the, oh, hey, how are you doing? You know, because it was just kind of, Oh, hi, you know, because we had just been interacting. It was kind of like a smooth, uh, sort of the opposite of what you're saying in a way. It wasn't the first time we had met, but I mean, it was just kind of strange uh, uh, how it just went together, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, you're, you're such better friends once you've... That's why the excitement, the excitement of meeting for the first time. But you're right. But the thing is that, you know... Um, you know, if you take, say, uh, you know, the last conference, Vance, we didn't have time. We were so busy all the time. I didn't have time to talk to anybody, mm -hmm. you know. Um, none of us did. We were so busy with different things and going from one meeting to the next. Even the dinners were like, you know, there was just no time. But online, there's so much more. We can write each other. We can ask questions. We've got the time online. Yeah, the, this has really turned, uh, you know, what we used to do at conferences, getting together at conferences used to be the special thing. And now it's, I mean, it's when, you, when you take the expense of it and uh, uh, the carbon footprint that you make as you splash your way through the ozone layer in your supersonic jet, getting to your conference and uh, the, all the, what you're paying into for hotel rooms and things like that, uh, whereas you can just do that. Uh, Casually, you know, instead of having uh, appointments to make right meet right now, and a lot of people interrupting us, uh, here we are, uh, you know, interacting with all these people who are uh, the kinds of people you would meet at conferences. But you, now you have time, you know, you have time to interact with them, and and I think it's a, a in some ways a higher quality experience. I mean, there is something about face to face meeting. Um, you know, you do make connections because you can socialize get to know people on a different level. Uh, when you do have time, you know, you can uh, speak to them, uh, but you know, how it is, but anyway, is social, socializing. But, but the thing we're doing right now is certainly something that could easily take the place of uh, jetting around the world at conferences, you know, as far as getting things done, as far as intellectual life. Yeah, I totally agree. What I find exciting... I mean, if you exciting, go to a conference and you go to a session on... You're not going to... I'm sorry, on, on Moodle, you're not going to... Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's a bit of a delay um, between us right now, but it's, it's going to clear up because WizIQ has a system that kind of puts everything together. If there is... Yeah, uh, can you see that? Yeah, it's improved quite a bit. Uh, what I was trying to say is what's special about the, not the live sessions, but the asynchronous ones, is the fact that we can write one another. I can provide someone with feedback much faster than if I had to pick up the phone, call them up. I mean, even dial would take, well, not dial these days, of course, but touch, whatever, would take me longer than to just send them feedback through, uh, you know, online in, in writing. You know, it's much faster, and people are amazed. They say, well, you know, I just sent you, how can you respond so quickly? Well, because all you need is, you know, you have to be fast on, on the fingers, and that's it. So it doesn't take that much to uh, respond. And this flipped classroom idea, you know, is uh, uh, natural in an online environment. And, it, you know, a lot of people realizing that that's the way you should be holding your classes instead of, you know, turned lectures on its head. You don't go to the class and lecture and tell people, you know, one to many what you want them to do in a class. The best thing to do is to set homework that actually sets up a tutorial, which is just a natural for MOOCs. And uh, watch the tutorial. Uh, I just completed something called LT MOOC, which was on Instreamia, a really interesting program that uh, it was a lot of fun to learn how to use. It, it takes YouTube videos. Yeah, have you heard of it in Streamia? 
I have. Have you ever used it? Or? Um, I, I was with you. I mean, yeah. I, I kind of jumped in and out because I was busy. But yeah, it looks great. The only part I didn't like was the money, but you know, the fact that um, it uh, it costs. But it, it's, it looked like it was well, a lot a of fun. Product. Yeah. 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 Um, but still, the way I mean, they're developing it, and so. But but I'm just saying that that, that the the way that's something they had, they had to train you how to do it. They, all the training was done in tutorials, you know, online tutorials. And then when people got together, they actually talked about pedagogy and uh, how they would put things together, you know, to train students and not as a tool itself. Yeah, I think that's that's the point. Which I guess is moot. Yeah, I think the mm -hmm. point of of any kind of learning together is that as you learn about something, whatever it happens to be, it's not really important, as you learn about something together, you are making uh, truly deep connections, whether you like it or not, it just happens. Uh, and I think that's, that's really uh, important. So I'm gonna go through um, the presenters, for those who don't know them, that's Jason R. Levine, and Jason um, created a song, especially for the MOOC. Uh, Vance, have you heard it? I did. I heard it on my commute this morning. I was trying to, I was, <laughs> actually that recording cut out about the time that Martin Dujimus came on. Oh. Uh, it, the, I could see him talking, but I couldn't hear it. But I did hear the song. <laughs> All right. It sounded it, something like this. Well, you got it. All right, everybody, let me see. Yeah, well, the thing so is uh, that what I'd like to do is I'd like you to follow the words. Um, I, I, I was listening to it quite a bit this morning. Well, morning, I don't know. Maybe it was last night. Uh, listening to it to get the gist, to try to to go with it. Um, so here it is. I think we may have to. Um, that's the audio. Let's see if I can make it go here. I don't know. Is it working for you? Because I think I just messed up here. Age on the world stage. Yeah, but and incidentally, you know, that was uh, when I tried to listen to the recording online. That was the point where it stopped. Yeah. Uh, the point where the extra audio file was put in. Uh -huh. That's what. That's where it. It it's snagged. I could not go beyond that. Uh, getting the recording online. You. I'll tell you something. This is for everybody. I'm not going to put so, it on now. Um, you can listen to it later. What um, what happens is when you're listening to a recording, you can actually control the recording. It becomes separate from uh, the whiteboard, which means that you can turn it off, you can go on with it. It's completely separate. So what you can do is put it on the side and then continue with the, uh, with the recording. It's not part of it. I think that's something that Illuminate also has, where something is, I think when you're screen was it the screen um the web tour or something it's similar to the web tour in that sense that uh, you have full control over it and it's not part of the moderator's uh tour or whatever uh you know what all these technologies uh you know as i think martin said it so nicely i don't know if you heard that part when he said that um you know we're not there yet and he was talking specifically about the uh, the moodle and how you know you can there's a lot to do and i'm glad he mentioned that you know he's not one of these people that says well my product is perfect and there's nothing to improve kind of thing where yeah there is you know and it's teachers who are making it and i think that many teachers are not aware of the fact that you can make a difference uh, in how the moodle works it's not just uh, you know educate or technologists that are involved in preparing it. Uh, Dr. Ramish is here, and I've been trying to get him to. Do you know Dr. Ramish Vance? No, just uh, oh, you've never met, met through the recordings of. Oh, okay. And I don't think so. Unless we um, and, uh, we might have met. Let me see. Valora, I'm Dr. not sure. Dr. Ramish, are you here? I'm going through. I don't know how many. Oh, I see him. Okay, uh, his. Um, Webcam worked really well yesterday, but uh, we couldn't hear him, so I'm hoping that we can hear you now. Dr. Remish, how are you? Uh, hello, can Nelly, you? and uh, hello, Vance. Bravo, we can hear you. I hope today you can hear me. Yes, very well. Oh, thank you so much, and it is nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Good. All right, I think you met, uh, I think you guys met in, fact, in India. 
didn't you, uh, at a conference, um, Vance? I think you were together with um, Ramesh at a conference in India, actually. Something. Yes, possibly. Yeah. Were you there? Uh, I wasn't. In Belor? You were there virtually. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I, yes, I think I was there virtually. Sorry, but I think okay. uh, <laughs> yes. I think uh, Dr. Sharma was there. I think you were there, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be. In any case, um, you're doing a lot of things these days. Um, you're starting a, uh, I believe, a course on Wiki Educator. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? I think it's yes. Uh, actually, that is uh, uh, our regular uh, learning for content uh, online uh, workshop uh, for all those persons interested in developing open educational resources. And it's uh, basically a 10 uh, days uh, online program in which the people, they can uh, learn the wiki skills and how they can develop uh, open educational resources. So it is reuse, remix, uh, uh, and uh, uh, how to uh, prepare some content so that others can take uh, benefit of that. So that's why uh, that's what uh, we are uh, uh, planning now. Yeah, I'd like Thank to you. see Wiki Educator back in action. It seems like it's the OER now on Wiki Educator and not so much the Wiki Educator, uh, you know, the, the collaborative work that we used to have in 2007, 8 and 9. You know, Vance, not everything is like the webhead. Some things kind of uh, dilute and um, change, transform. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing, but um, it happens. Oh, I agree with you, Nelly, that because uh, uh, we find that uh, the people, uh, you know, sometimes uh, they need to return back to their pages and uh, keep continuing uh, contributing. Uh, uh, to the wiki educator so that needs to be done and uh, hopefully we will take it up very regularly thank you yeah that's what i'm hoping too in fact i was thinking of joining rejoining you know you once helped me i was thinking of maybe helping you out with this particular one so <laughs> i may add to my workload thank you so much <laughs> ludmilla well yes ludmilla is with us hello ludmilla uh good morning I guess it's early in the morning for you. Uh, Ludmilla is a very, very experienced educator. And uh, by the way, for those who don't know, I think Ludmilla started using technology uh, way, way back before, well, probably in the 70s, if not earlier, and using it um, at her university in Russia. But in any case, you've got an interesting story of why you started with technology in the United States that I love hearing. Hello, Vince. We, we met, I think, in TESOL. Mm -hmm. TESOL, uh, I think, 2011, we, Nelly and I, were doing a workshop. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, being, uh, uh, I was Dean of School of Foreign Languages back in Russia. And I had a chance to travel, and the first thing uh, I, whenever I was out um, abroad, I was bringing ideas to my school of foreign languages, and of course, computers, computers mm -hmm. connection, and um, yes, and I came to the United States in 2000. And of course, when I started teaching, I was teaching differently. And in order for students to understand me, um, so I started using uh, technology. And besides, in back in Russia, all the textbooks. And uh, when I came to the United States, I was amazed. Uh, the publishing companies are chasing you. Um, internet is available. You just you you are you are not allowed to be to be a boring professor because you you are supplied with all these tools and uh, resources. So I was flabbergasted and I was fascinated with all these opportunities to teach well. 
and uh, back in Russia, we um, when I came here, I really I realized that I'm a constructivist. Back in Russia, I was implementing ideas of Montessori, uh, Rudolf Steiner, uh, Brunner, uh, and here when I came to the United States, uh, from the first steps, I was using technology. And, and then, of course, I joined all these networks. And somewhere in 2005, 6 our uh, paths crossed with Nelly Deutsch. <laughs> and she said, we are together. And uh, as she said, uh, it's really amazing to meet people in person. I remember how we studied our Moodle for Teachers workshops, and I was on sabbatical in presenting a workshop on Moodle for Teachers. And I, I just still remember, I, I almost cried when, <laughs> when I said, Nelly, uh, somebody asked from the workshop when I was in Czech Republic in Ostrava, somebody asked, Nelly, what would you do if you, uh, if you uh, came here uh, for this conference? And she said, the first thing, I would hug Ludmilla. <laughs> So it was, <laughs> I, I almost cried. I think I cried. So when, uh, when she defended her thesis in 2010, my husband drove me to Penn, um, uh, Penn State to meet and Pittsburgh. hug um, Nellie. Yeah, you know, Ludmilla, in person. that, that so reminds we, me. Trust. It's just amazing, learning together. And it, Yes. That's the point. The point is actually yes. the fact that... And also... Um, yeah. I'm little trying. lag. Yeah, yeah, there is a uh, lag now because it's the, trying the to adjust. The voice is uh, Yeah, it's, it's trying to adjust. Mm. That's what I was saying, that there's an adjustment uh, going on yeah. uh, in the, in the uh, platform. That's, that's what's new. And that it brings you back. Amazing. I'd love to know what technology is being used, but you saw that, right? It kind of takes care of itself, whatever, and then, <laughs> you know, I can imagine it. But in any case, it goes back, Ludmilla, to what Van said about trust. Can you imagine Ludmilla and her right. husband drove from New York to Pittsburgh to meet <laughs> someone they had never met face to face, only online? Now, maybe I didn't exist. Maybe I was an imposter. I mean, I mean, they, you know what I'm saying? It you meet hard. someone online and then you commit. You you drive eight eight hours, ten hours. I don't know how many hours you guys drove to meet someone that you'd never met yeah. before. So yeah, the trust. Yeah, it's in, in, yeah, and when you met in person, you really um, the trust grows yeah. and, and it empowers and. And since then, we were collaborating, writing books, writing chapters together, designing workshops, presenting at the conference virtually and in person. And it really empowers you and uh, feed each other with ideas. And sometimes we say to each other, look, look, we're like twins. <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> So it's um, amazing. Learning together is really powerful. And that's what um, MOOC provides. I agree with you, Vance. I think uh, the main outcome of MOOCs is building relationships, creating networks. And you were one of those by web, uh, by web heads were actually <laughs> another way of MOOCing. It was a MOOC because you were <laughs> you were creating networks with people with the tools that were available at that point at that time. That's that's exactly what was happening. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, uh, I'm glad. Yes. Well, well. Go ahead. You know, yes. Uh, it's interesting how uh, you know we. You you were mentioning Wiki Educator a moment ago, Nelly, and um, how these communities come and go. They you know they uh, 
they flourish, but they, they, they also overlap and intersect. And uh, actually, I just used the word community there. Um, but uh, more recently, especially, especially from Stephen Downs and, and the MOOC, uh, the idea that the network of people, the personal learning network, these, these uh, communities have, uh, are, are sort of better seen as networks. But then I also read something by, uh, uh, what's his first name, Celie Brown. Um, mm. what's, what, what's the first name I'm missing? Uh, I know Celie Brown. Anyway, about, um, yeah. yeah. David Celie Brown? I'm, yes, it uh, is David. Oof, it's I'm David. Disgusting. But uh, It's David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's, he talks about the collective. Uh, he says in a, in a community, you, uh, you learn to be a, you learn in order to be a part of it. Uh, in a collective, you're a part of it in order to learn. This is, there's, a, there's a difference between communities and collectives. So it was a term I hadn't really heard. Um, but that's, I don't know, do you think that, which, do you think that describes better than communities or networks? I don't know. Have you heard, have you heard him use that term before, collective? Uh, Ludmilla used this collective like, intelligence, yeah. right, Ludmilla? That's one of your um, yes. favorite yeah. words. Yeah. I don't get stuck on <laughs> terms, uh, Vance. You know, I, I kind of, uh, you know, I think, I think the human aspect is more important than, you know, giving it a definition, you know. Um, but, that's, but that's me. I don't know if Judy's here. I just wanted to go on introducing uh, Judy's uh, an avid technologist uh, about the presenters uh, these will be the presenters and uh, what I wanted to point out um, Martin had already presented and Vance is here now I hope Vance you'll have a chance to come back as well notice that Brian Alexander I don't know how many of you are familiar with Brian Alexander uh, he's done a lot of things um, he's kind of in the background um, so I'm looking forward to seeing, he's going to be talking about something really interesting uh, that I'm going to keep a secret for now. Of course, Dave Cormier really says what I believe in, um, in many ways. He kind of represents exactly what I think. So if you listen to his videos about MOOCs, that's exactly how I view the MOOCs. And then there is, uh, I don't know if you've heard, Vance, of John uh, Graves. He's an American who's residing in uh, yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, he's doing a lot. Oh, I think you had him on Learning Together. Him. Yeah. You met him? Oh, you were there. Yes. yes. Uh, no. No, we, you were we, in Australia. I met him in a MOOC. Uh, oh, okay. He was coming to um, uh, a MOOC that I, I think at the time, um, you know, you talk about clustering in MOOCs. Jeff LeBeau know. was doing right. uh, these MOOC casts and uh, John was one of the people who came to the MOOC cast. So we learned a lot about his wiki, wiki to speech, which I thought was really exciting. Amazing. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sort of, yeah, I'm kind of glad to get to that he's coming back. I mean, it would be yeah. nice to meet him Amazing. again. Amazing. He uh, does, do he does these interactive speech? sessions. All his sessions are interactive. So he, t he doesn't just talk, he makes you work. <sighs> mm -hmm. Which I love. But his and, tools are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They really are. I, I'm interested in finding out more about what he's doing with Wiki to Speech because it, yeah. it's really something I could use as an e reader, I think. You know, you just put anything in a wiki and it talks to you. It tells you, you know, that if you, anyhow, I'm quite interested in learning more about it. Me too. And then there's Maria. Yeah. Maria's doing a lot of interesting stuff, things that I think you would enjoy too because she's doing collaborative. Uh, translations of a book that she created translate together in other words the book is free it's downloadable and it's working together um, from people around the world uh, on a project and I think that's uh, something that we will be doing in the future uh, people will continue developing and creating publishing and so on of course we've had a Martin um, hopefully he'll come back for the Moodle moot in August uh, Stevens is going to be speaking on MOOCs and connectivism. Uh, there's Brian that I mentioned, Dave uh, Cormier, still to go, John Graves, Maria, that I met, by the way. We uh, organized a, uh, a math, arts, and music conference at Ithaca College in New York. Now, Vance, I'm going to go off a little bit uh, here 
on for the uh, members, the active participants of uh, the Moodle MOOC. And that's one of the uh, questions that you heard about. It's not that people don't have Google Drive. It's not that they're all from China. No, they have Google Drive. But I made this particular document um, private, which means that everybody had to connect with me. Then I have to give them rights, editing rights, so that they can add the information. And the information, of course, about your Moodle experience. So Vance, I don't know if you filled this out, but you're going to have to fill it out as well, since you're going to be working with Moodle. Um, so one is no Moodle experience. Okay, that's uh, where you add your name under this, uh, okay, this column. And then there's student role. Now, a lot of people don't know, realize that they were students on a Moodle. Because unless the teacher says, this is a Moodle, everybody, which is what I do in my classes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been using Moodle since 2003 Moodle. with my high school students. So, mm -hmm. so students roll on Moodle. Yeah, they, they get a kick out of, the, you know, they go around saying, everybody knows. They, they can hardly speak English, some of them, but they can say, Moodle, Moodle, you know, like. Uh, and then there's the teacher role with no editing rights and the teacher role with editing rights. And the this usually the teachers know and then there's Moodle manager now manager is a new role in two point and up it used to be just admin now there's a manager and um, the manager is less than an admin an admin can do everything it's like a webmaster Vance. I think you would like that to be an administrator because you can do anything and it's so easy to learn I mean how did I learn Moodle I used it you know if you use it you'll get it it's not you know it's not difficult at all if you use it it's hard to learn when you're not using things. Um, this is, there are three venues. I mentioned this uh, in the previous class, but again, there's Moodle for teachers. The Moodle experience is what I call it. And then there's the Moodle practice and the WizIQ, of course, for the live sessions. So the Moodle experience is, first of all, there's the, uh, the social area where everybody can join, ask questions, and take the choice activity. The badges are active, which means that you will be getting badges. And once you get uh, three badges, you're eligible for a certificate. So make sure that uh, you do what you have to do to get the badge. And then you'll get um, a certificate at the end. Now, this is um, the social course. It's called Moodle MOOC at WizIQ. You can also go back from the uh, back and forth. You can click on the Moodle social course area and then go back to the WizIQ session. So you can go back and forth. That's easy. That's what Martin mentioned in his first um, talk. <clears throat> and then these are the three levels. There's Moodle for managers. This is for uh, people who've uh, been the admin or managers of a Moodle. And then there's the Moodle for experienced teachers. Okay, teachers who've had editing rights. And then Moodle for beginners. The Moodle for beginners uh, will be a chance for, te for teachers to become editing teachers. In other words, they'll learn to practice being a teacher with the role uh, of a teacher, which means that the teacher would be able to edit. That's the true role of a teacher, of course, to be able to add content and manipulate the content and the activities. Uh, the Moodle for Experienced Teachers will deal with uh, advanced level Moodle activities and so on. And of course, the managers will go on to more uh, difficult developmental uh, issues and topics. Everything is on Moodle 2.5. So everybody will be learning something because I don't know how many people are familiar with Moodle 2.5. Uh, it just came out. Uh, and um, you'll have a chance to play around with it on the uh, third area. The third area is the Moodle experience. Uh, you don't have to go there yet. I will talk more about it in uh, week two, which is next Saturday. Now, a little bit about... How do you um, know if you've got... Pardon? How do you know, Van? Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know which version of Moodle you're using? Oh, that's very easy. I, but you have to be admin to know that. 
but I can okay. tell you where to go. If you've got admin well, rights, I can tell you where to go to get that information. But you need to have admin rights. In other words, if you have admin... You. No, that's okay, Vince. It's never interruptions. I mean, like, every question, as I say, is the best question that you can ask at any time. Um, if it's really easy, just... Uh, because I've got admin rights and a Moodle here. Great. That's so open. if you have, okay, great. So if you have That's admin fine. rights, you go to the left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> you go to the left and you open up. No. Uh, yeah. You go to the admin and then you just, there's a search box. You write what you need in the search box. So you're going to go to, um, uh, notification, registration. You go to the registration. Do you see the registration when you click on the admin? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know this by heart. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I would have to open a Moodle. Uh, see, so go to the registration. When you click on the registration, you should be able to see uh, the kind of Moodle that you have. Do you see it? Uh, it's logged me out, but that's okay. okay I'll, I'll so do that. Connect it's logged me out. I'll have to ask log back. questions. Look, the best, the best way to... Um, uh, to ask questions, not the best question, but the best way to ask is where everybody can see the question and get a chance to also learn and also respond. Okay, it's it's very empowering to be able to answer people's questions. So um, what I'm showing my, you here... My chance is chat is not allowed by the presenter. Is are, Have you blocked chat accidentally? Uh, could be. Yes, I did, in fact. Okay, yes. it should oh, be fine oh, yes. now. Sorry okay. about that. Sorry. Um, in any okay. case, um, what you see in front of you right now is uh, the course. Okay, and I'm going to go through the numbers here. This is the social, the Moodle MOOC at WizIQ Social. Ludmilla, can you add the link to, um, or someone add the link to the chat box? Uh, number one is your navigation. Vans, this is uh, for everybody, your navigation. Number two is your administration. Now, this depends on your level. Everybody has administration at all levels. Even students have. So if you're a student, you'll have whatever, you know, you're allowed to have. If you're a teacher, uh, you'll have different things and so on. As a student, you will see unenroll me. Don't unenroll yourself unless you really want to unenroll because I'm going to have to enroll you back. Okay, um, so uh, don't unenroll yourself. Uh, so quickly. And then, of course, you get your grades, questions, and so on. That's number two. Number three is your profile. Please go into your profile. If you want to get a badge, your first badge, you will have to complete your profile. And I'll show you the badges in a minute. All right, that's number three. Number four here is a checklist. Just mark as you go. You check whatever you do so that you know that you've done it. And number four is your choice activity. You'll get a badge if you do this. So do it to see what your badge looks like. Your badges will appear. You'll get an email notification, plus your badge will appear on your profile. So as Martin says, these badges are very, very special. And there's only one discussion forum called Social Discussions in number five. Now for the badges. Are you ready for the Where badges? Where have you written down Where what the badges? people need to do? How can Wait people uh, recap that? How can they find out what they should do to get these badges? Aha. Aha. Okay. Step back now, questions. That's a good question. The badge is something new to... Uh, I know you had a talk uh, on learning together on badges, Vance, I, I think, right? Mm. It was really Wait. interesting. I think, with badges. Could you uh, share that maybe uh, in the in the uh, one of the discussion forums on WizIQ if you join the course? I don't know if you've joined yet uh, sure. to be able to share I'm, that because I've, I think it's a very I don't know how many people came, but it was an awesome um, you know an awesome conversation on badges. It was really good. Uh, in any case. Um, there are system badges, and there are courses badge, course badges, and there are even um, teacher badges, student badges. We can give each other badges. We can create badges as students, as teachers, and so on. So, Vance, there are system badges. The minute you go into the system, uh, you're alerted to um, complete your profile to get a badge. You'll have to try it out. So, the first badge, of course, is the Moo. This is... Um, 
as I said, I was inspired by the cow that uh, Thompson, who's here today, uh, uses in one of the courses that he took with me at IT for All. It was incredible. All kinds of cow images for the moo dull. Number one, okay, is one badge. Number two, number three is the final badge if you complete all the course activities. Number two, certain activities. So take a look at that. And uh, enjoy if you've got ideas about badges, you'd like to share badges that you'd like uh, everyone else to have, you're free to do that. And um, questions, of course, make sure that you ask your questions so that everybody uh, can have a chance to respond and learn from uh, people's responses. And that's it. Okay, it's late. We're five minutes over. Uh, Vance, would you like to give us the date for today of this uh, learning together, as you always do? Well, yeah. Do we have more time, or are we in a hurry to wrap up? Because some, I, I recognize some people just coming in. Oh, really? Yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, some people are coming in, some are going out. But we could have this all day. Yes. Um, yeah, some people um, come near the end. That's true. Well, it, it's a small confusion about the uh, the, the time. Uh, it was for 1300 oh, GMT, oh. but somehow WizIQ, in its wisdom, set it for noon GMT. So uh, we we started at noon. Oh, and I see what you mean. A, a lovely... Oh, you mean they're coming in not because they're coming in late. They're coming yeah, in because so the some people are standing. Because... I have no idea because I, you know what, my my uh, iPhone uh, the web just beeped me. My iPhone just beeped me to let me know that it's starting now. So I don't understand. Ah, you yes. see. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. okay, well, so this should is we start it over again? Learning should... together June 2nd, Sunday, June 2nd, 2001. Uh, do you mean out and start it over or just keep going and start it over? Well, whatever just, you just... think. Well, go for uh, half an hour or something. Yeah, like. yes, yes, definitely, definitely, Vance. Um, I think we should. Well, actually, um, do you mean you want to you want to go out and uh, no. or have a two hour session? We could have a two we hour. Just keep going in keep this. Keep going in this particular yeah. one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but by start over, we mean we're going to. Uh, this is where I get to interview Nellie now. See, Nellie's been sort of, well, she, actually Nellie has introduced her course, but she's, uh, and she, and when you just came in, she, yep, okay, it's back again. We're getting some lags in the, uh, in the whiz IQ here, uh, but uh, so we we had a uh, with IQ has a funny time system. It's sort of I think I'm not sure if they're really uh, uh, on GMT time or sometimes people are on London time by mistake, and London has goes back and forth an hour. So anyway, it happens, but it's no big deal. We've had a really nice uh, hour already, uh, and I just uh, by chance I happened to notice when I went to look at the class uh, and the countdown was there and it said it's starting just a couple of minutes. I said, what a couple of minutes? No. Anyway, when I came and. Uh, found all this wonderful crowd of people who had somehow got the same notice and had discovered that uh, the, the thing was about to start and they all came in. So anyhow, but here we are, we've got now, uh, I can't see easily all the people who are still here, but I noticed that uh, Claire was here and Teresa was here and uh, I just noticed those names as they were, they were scrolling through and I'm scrolling down and trying to see if how many others I can recognize. Uh, Ooh, here, okay, so let's see. Well, those are the only two names that that popped up. Um, but anyway, uh, I think there are some people also from my workplace who might be coming because in my workplace, we have just got this MOOC, which I was just checking out to see. It looks like I've got, uh, it says Moodle version 2012, 12030.14. Uh, what is that? Moodle release 2.4. Uh, 2.4 okay so that's what I've got 2.4 is that